What's up everybody, this is D from Brooklyn and for today's Sunday Swim, I thought I'd give you guys a little spotlight and a minute on the education side of the force. Now, those of us keeping reefs and non-reefs might be very interested in these little creatures and these are sea urchins. Sea urchins are amazing little creatures and they should be considered as one of your really valuable additions to both your reef and non-reef aquariums and this is because sea urchins are very efficient scavengers of algae this one that we're looking at although you really can't tell by the blue hue is a pink short spined sea urchin and sea urchins are very good at eating algae sea urchins in the wild can cover vast miles of algae now when buying sea urchins one thing that you'll notice first and foremost is that they are covered with spines but what most people don't notice is sea urchins can really move really quickly they extend these sweepers in order to search for algae and they both stick to glass and cling to rocks and various structures in the aquarium so for this reason one thing that I learned the hard way is that when buying sea urchins they can be very reef safe but you have to be very careful when handling them sea urchins most obviously are covered with spines that can stick you but at the same time they are good for tanks that have aggressive fish because if fish approach them they can stiffen those spines at the drop of a dime um, but one other thing to know about sea urchins is most of the short spine ones in my uh, experience will move frag plugs and anything that is not secured to the structure of the aquarium so if you're uh, interested in putting a sea urchin in a tank that has frag plugs or coral you want to make sure that your frags are anchored down or glued in place because as you can see with this little guy is they can grow up to four inches the short spine ones but as I'll show you in my other tank here a long spine sea urchin such as this black long spine sea urchin can grow up to 10 inches and that is a big animal to have in any tank so one thing to consider is the size that these guys can grow now as you can see this one also moves really quickly and the fish pretty much leave them quite alone um, they're really really interesting pets to have in a tank because of their spines and secondly because their ability to move so quickly uh, these animals are usually not thought to be able to move so quickly but they really cover a lot of space and as you can see I've always left spaces and kept him under consideration when placing my corals because all of this area gets trampled by that sea urchin believe me <laughs> he covers a lot of space and uh, one other thing to know is that the long spine sea urchins are less likely to move frags uh, whereas the short sea urchins will actually keep a frag a shell a loose rock or other loose items in the tank they will move them by attaching them onto their back and they will move around the tank with those items on their back which is really interesting to see but can be really annoying if you're trying to keep things in place as you can see he's cleaning what's left of that chalice area back there and as you can see the tank is really spotless um, one thing to remember is like any other scavenger like snails and any other scavenger they have to be fed so don't rely on just algae to feed them um, you can use nori sheets or seaweed uh, sheets another good thing that I'll tell you about the, the algae they eat it really clean and efficiently but one thing if you have a refugium what I do is I take pieces of algae from my refugium and I can attach it to a rock or a algae clip I for this one I'm using this this uh, sea ring feeder which I just poke through the algae I fold it up and poke it through there and the 
sea anemone, I mean the sea anemone, sea urchin will come up to it and eat it and then go about his business. So if you are keeping these animals, please make sure that you supplement them with regular feedings at least once a week. You don't really have to do more than that, but at least once a week, I'll feed them a uh, algae sheet to make sure that they're being fed. So like mentioned before, these are really interesting pets to have. I spend hours and hours just watching them move around. Um, I did get quite the entertaining uh, <laughs> show as uh, I added a new clown to this tank. And he just went pink, 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 and just kind of bothered the anemone until he learned that was not a good idea. So uh, do your homework. Um, lastly, these guys need good water quality. They are sensitive to uh, nitrates. And if you see a uh, sea urchin losing its spines, if you see any uh, sign of spines on your sand bed, that is a, a immediate sign of a drop in water quality. And you have to take care of that because they're really sensitive to water quality. So this is D from Brooklyn showing you my little pets there. Look at them. I want to see. Maybe it'll get stuck. Stick, stick. Ah, yeah, see, it's great. I love that. They get used to it really quick, and uh, when they don't feel threatened, they don't stiffen up their spine. So, really interesting. Hours of enjoyment. I love it. Um, as you can see, the tank is really clean. <laughs> really clean. Not only me cleaning it, but the uh, anemones. I keep saying anemones. Sea urchins do a real good job of uh, eating algae, but you still have to feed them. Like any part of your cleaning crew, they have to be fed to be kept happy and healthy. So this is D from Brooklyn with a Sunday swim on sea urchins. Once again, keeping my sanity by keeping my aquariums and you got no success unless you invest in the homework needed to keep any animal. So do your homework, people, and love, peace, and head grease. Enjoy your Super Bowl. See ya. I'm out.